Hello and welcome back to Thronebreaker. We are heading to Vortuzla Castle. Still, it's quite far away actually. This <clears throat> this swamp is pretty huge. And I'm not even uh, fighting all the fights. And definitely not doing all the puzzles. Hey Nerf Guardian guys, what's up? So we're gonna have a fight here if I attempt to go this way. Which we will simply do. Standard battle. But yeah. The alternative is just to go around. Yeah, I'm not trying to avoid battles that much, but the the bad part is that I'm playing on the hardest difficulty and the game is ridiculously easy. Also I, I guess I can change my deck, but still. This artist will be reaping black clad heads. I don't really see much point. <laughs> my spirit's willing and how but these damn boots are killing me. Come on, we just gotta run into a guy who beats me. Got sand a plenty in them. I'm gonna copy. Sure. I guess I can play a drummer. Or at Leary and Scythman. I can do a drummer, maybe. Left, right, <clears throat> left, right. What do he has? Okay. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. Time to die. I. Yeah. Quite the tempo. Will he pass? Oh, of course he will. Pass. Not sure what we're gonna do round two. I used up uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, Lyrian incitements. I'll have one more. Maybe I wanna save it for last round? I don't know. So, finding Godo would be okay. It'd be pretty sweet. What we're we doing here. I kinda wanna play two units here, but I'm not sure exactly which one. Well, that's not something we want to randomly play. Again, oh, drummer. And again and again. That's extremely powerful. Uh, I don't want to get out auto randomly. I think we might just play a slinger. Thing about slings. And we just push the veteran. Wait. Yeah, I think we're just gonna pass. Go to round three. Go for a long round three. And it should be a win. Really? Resilient 12 point guy. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. Oh, that helps. So we kick the slinger. We have Odo finally. Actually, we need to have two blitz units in the deck. So we can. Well, it's, it would need to be random blitz units. Right? It would need to be two specific blitz units. So we wanna kick uh, Delirium Sightman. And the bomber. So we want to play those early. That is Super what you early. Like. The royal decree, and we get these guys. Ah, should have listened to me, old lady. Push in the back. Oh. When an enemy appears on the range row, strengthen self by three. Boost all units in the hand by one. Oh my God. That's pretty good. Impair Brigade Plus. Can I get those units? So, I, I suppose playing the Ranger is still preferable. 
Army's a waste of time for one like me. There you go. Enjoy the boosts. Wait. My pain serves a purpose. He flail. Over the drummer. Left, right, left, right. We're gonna, yeah, we can play old dudes easily. <laughs> Already hitting me. Getting the brigades would be nice. Number of units in the opponent's hand. So these are units are actually quite powerful. Uh, actually, we need to play another unit. I can just give them a charge. Life had me proud. Now here I'm marching proud. I just give him all the charges. I can kill it and move them out of the fire. The whole point of killing sounds pretty sweet. It has armor. Now let's move them out. Maybe next round we can go for a kill. If we play something in the front, that we most likely will. So we do that. And uh, hit the spotter. Eleven points in the brigade. Damn. Okay, let's go for a drummer. Again and again and again. Imperial brigade plus. Brach, scheiß, in Yeah, pretty powerful. I can move him around a little bit, but. Does it matter? Not really. Honestly, I don't really want to take him out of the fire. I can just play Gascon. In the back, maybe? We can just play the Slinger a little bit later. Let's just, let's just Gascon in the back. Quick and painful this will be. Be decent. Off to the front yet again. That's a silly looking helmet you got there, mister. So, what are we doing? Still gotta play the Stray Slinger. I guess that's what we're doing this round. Ever have a stone, knock out one of your teeth. And another Stray Slinger. Of an eye from away. No. Don't do that. Hit the back. Do that. Do that. These just these are just fat points. Don't really matter. Quiet, or the commissar will hear. I still punish it. Yeah. His bell is ridiculous. Company! Forward in the right march. circumstances. Bigger they are, easier they are to tuck. Look at this.
You can wait a little bit. Through me flail. I 43 points. Could solve this some other 52 way. points. 51 base power. Off to the Gus front yet again. Let's see what we get with Delirium Merlot only 55 points not bad all right Neil goddamn man that was not even close what the hell are you even doing Let's take their stuff I don't care about your poems guys but maybe the value will go up because now the altar is dead but I was pretty active in, in that regard you know does it still count if you just go around the murdering poets and say that, uh, <clears throat> well, you know, just like, it, it comes from a poet that's dead? I suppose the value wouldn't necessarily go up just because of that. You might need a better business model here. Like, hey, uh, the guy I killed uh, <clears throat> had this on him. What do you think? No! They have puzzles. They're blocking the way. Alright, let's just go back to the castle. These bastards are blocking the way with a puzzle. How could they? Okay, what do we have here? Apparently there's a, there's a fort here. Right? Some kind of a tweet circle. Oh, well, actually, we can't go over here, right? Can we see? Oh, you can! Wow. Yeah, it's not really obvious where you can go and where you can go. But I suppose we're gonna check out this. It's kind of looked like a Enter druid circle, but apparently it's easy. not. Troubles getting out. Entering, entering the swamp's easy. But entering the swamp is easy. Let's see what we get. In the distance, Meave spotted a spindle-like shape, which soon proved an enormous, dark obelisk. It stood in the middle of a wetland clearing. Dozens of iron rings dangled from its shaft, clinking and rattling in gusts of wind. Cows, donkeys and dogs were gathered round the stone, all tied to the rings by ropes. Their hides showed many shallow cuts, seeping blood festering, drawing mosquitoes in swarms. A number of the animals struggled against their cords, while others, near dead, lay still in the wet, tall grass. Blood sacrifice. Across the clearing, folk emerged from the woods, a handful of peasants with a mule in tow. The beast resisted, stomped and planted its hooves, perhaps sensing its gruesome fate. The queen decided to question the peasants, and soon learned the animals were their sacrifice to the swamp gods. They're all about, dearie. Very close. Oh, very, very close. The toothless old woman whispered. They hide neath murky waters. Can't feed when they hear the drip drip of blood. The gods look kindly on those what make an offering. Are we gonna stop the blood ritual? I know nothing of your gods, began the queen, her nose crinkled in <laughs> disgust. But any that demand such grisly tribute are not at all worthy of reverence. What you do to these creatures is savagery. Savagery I can't allow. Run us off, you can, replied the old shrew. For as soon as you're gone, we'll come back. As ever, we'll come back. This I know. So I must take care to leave you now to come back to. Over the peasants' howls and pleas, Meave ordered the obelisk brought down. Her soldiers gripped the ropes that hung from it and toppled the shaft. As it hit the ground, it shattered into many smaller pieces. You say you know naught of our guts? The old woman's eyes narrowed, her voice grew darker still. Well, don't you worry your head, sweetie. You'll meet him soon enough. 
They'll tangle your parts. So a pox among you, drive it to madness. Every last one. I curse you. All of you. And get a chorus name. Undisturbed by the Haridan's scream threats, Meave rode on. But her men whispered long of the curse. It weighed on their minds, poisoned their hearts. Each misstep, misfortune, they saw as punishment for their sacrilege. Ah, this drink was the bright call. Oh, quite fast. Let me scout. Apparently, there's a point of interest here, but there's nothing to do with it. Oh. Uh, Milady, our scouts report that substantial riches are located in this abandoned hovel, along with a swarm of vermin. A floor is black with the blo blood of bloated leeches and maggots. Bats hang from the ceiling, and spider webs cover the windows. I called for volunteers to recover the valuables. None step forward. They are too afraid. Uh... Well, we'll just leave this alone. I wouldn't go in myself. Who cares? We don't need the gold. I don't care too much about the morale loss, but... Yeah. It seems like uh, I can actually go this way. It's not too obvious. I actually prefer uh, games that make it very obvious which way you can go or can go. Uh, that is just... Come on. Like right now, I have no idea. Mahakam was easy. Oh, what? Eliminate him without any allies being killed. Oh, what? No! Oh, puzzle! Why would you? Every turn on third star, play a copy of the last card the opponent played. This unit will always target Beeve's leftmost unit. Okay. So, this would put me at 21 and drop him to uh, 29, right? So this should be good. No, 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 actually. So that was good. Now he's gonna play a copy of it. Who's the lowest ally by the power of the highest ally? So that wouldn't do anything. Your turn. Doesn't do anything. Vecker, Vecker doesn't do anything. Without any allies being killed. Do I need to kill him? If so, this is not gonna work. I need to eliminate him. That's not gonna work. Puzzles are so fun. Try it again. We can start with this. That doesn't make too much sense. And that wouldn't work at either. I can try a backer. Uh, 
If I do this, I'm just simply going to have too much. If, if I alter, he's just gonna kill my guy, so that's not gonna work. If I back her, and I hit my own guy. That's not going to be helpful, I believe. It's just dumb. Just do a step Rooney. Get nowhere. I think that's still the start, right? Nothing else works. You can do a Lyrium Merlot start. Maybe that's gonna work. It's a bit too much. Oh, actually, maybe that's what we need. Gonna use it on me as well. Oh fuck. Forgot about the replay of that. Oh I think that was the play, but we need to do it uh, differently. Basing this by a five. This could go up to a twenty one. A little incitement would get really high but maybe we alter it actually that's not gonna work would it oh none of the guys can die oh loving the puzzles Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Wait, do I need to play it for him to to replay it? What if I just discard the Becker's mirror? He's still gonna do it. What a fool! Okay. So, let's say I hit my high duke. Can't throw it in the garbage. Doesn't matter much, I think. Just gotta make sure that nothing dies. I only want to play it once. It was in the graveyard, he replays it. He altered him. GG! Well done. Want a runestone? Right, let's see what we got. Spawn three copies of a death fish unit on the battlefield and destroy them. <laughs> oh my god. 
But what death fish unit? I literally have no death fish units. Is this something that I only supposed to use on opponents? Like, oh, I like your death fish units. I'm gonna play a copy of it. Oh, great. Okay, we found some stuff. Send out some scouts. And we can also check out... At a, that point of interest wasn't too interesting. Uh, but we can check out the fort. That could be interesting. Irvin's fort. Oh, what? Are you pickaxing the wood? What the hell? Seems like a bandit fort. Anyway, guys, this is a good time to take a break. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.